Hello, my name is Eitan. Uh, I'm from uh, Knives Guru, which is the Israeli cold weapon portal on Facebook and Instagram, etc. Um, <clears throat> this is a review that I'm going to do on, uh, in English on the Demco AD10. Uh, most of my re reviews are in Hebrew because I want to make a knowledge base on knives and cold weapons in Hebrew, but um, uh, as I said before, some of my vids are in English. I also want to you know, to refer to the rest of the world <laughs> and not only to the Hebrew speakers. Uh, <clears throat> okay, today I'm gonna um, uh, teach you how to make an icing on a cake, on a cupcakes. Not really. Today we're gonna take, as I said before, uh, talk about the uh, Andrew Demko AD10. At start I'm gonna talk about the technical stuff. Uh, then I'm gonna cut some stuff and then I'm gonna say what I think is advantage and disadvantage on this knife. This review is not a first impression review. Uh, I've carried and used this knife for uh, almost, I don't know, eight, nine months, something like that. It's well used. Uh, it fell a couple of times. You can see here, the next uh, fell on the edge. I re-sharpened it, make it, made a new profile. Uh, you have seen a lot of work cleaned it up, I, I maintained it, but uh, you see a bit of scratches, uh, it's a bit dirty, but uh, I keep it clean and I use it and um, it's a very decent knife. So uh, who don't know, uh, by the way I'm not an English speaker, so don't expect that it's going to be a fluent English or something like that, I'm going to give it my best job. Now uh, Demco. Demco is a custom knife maker, it's called Demco Custom Knives. I know that there are some family members that are working with him, but I don't know how the facility usually works, so I'm just going to refer it as the Demco ca Custom Knives, okay? And I know that they're working with Cold Steel or uh, owning part of it, I don't, I don't really know, I, I, don't, I don't care. <coughs> um, uh, over here we see a fall custom knives that uh, this model called the AD10. The AD10 is what's so called this mid-level or small. Uh, I think it's the mid mid-level uh, in size between his available models. There is the big one uh, called the Format. I have it, and I made a review on it. There is the um, smaller one this the smallest which is the ad15 with the scorpion lock and there is the ad10 and there are some models in between like ad12 or stuff like that and you know custom knives you don't know exactly what will pop up but the i can say that the most popular are the formax the ad15 and the ad10 uh, the ad10 is cost around uh, 1200 dollars something like that uh, it's a full custom. Uh, I haven't seen something uh, that is half custom or that he made uh, some of the parts uh, in other facility like uh, some of his uh, AD15 which he says that he have uh, they, they call I think the AD15 MG. Let's talk about the technical stuff. Uh, I'm gonna use the metric system so you have to excuse me. We're talking about in this model the blade is 9 cm length which is 3.6 inches uh, CPM uh, 3V uh, high hollow ground okay uh, the upper third goes all the way down very steep good profile thumb stud steel uh, the thickness of the blade is approximately 5 mm which is 0.19 uh, inches the handle is around the 5 inch, a bit more I think, uh, which is uh, approximately 13 centimeters, so we're talking about 8.5, something like that, no, 8.6 or 0.7 uh, inches, uh, all the knives when it's open. We have, uh, uh, the liners are from titanium, the spring is from steel, tempered steel of course, pivot steel, uh, all the hardware steel, the, the pocket clip is uh, titanium and the, uh, how do you call this part, I forgot in English, but it's connected to the it's integral with the, um, 
I would call it glass breaker or something like that. So it's made of titanium, big spacer or something. So we uh, ah, and we have um, handles from G10, very smooth uh, G10, nice to touch. Now <clears throat> these are the materials, high grade materials, I must say. Uh, the assembly is uh, is very good. Uh, everything is in place very tight you can see that the parts are all sitting together with a perfect har harmony uh, opening closing no problem one hand at the beginning it's the spring is a bit hard but in time it's very easy no problem there okay now the lock called the trad lock it's some sort of a patent that he made a very strong lock it works it has a tooth here and it snaps inside the back of the knife, the base of the knife in the middle of the pivot. Like that. Okay. And then it's rock solid, don't move. Now, it's a very strong lock, one of the strongest I know. Uh, he placed a stopping pin here in the middle which uh, allowed more tension to press on it. Um, I don't know the physical terms in English on all sorts of pressures that knives have from this side or other side, but I know that this uh, small part allows the blade to carry a lot of tension and weight uh, on this uh, end. Uh, so or in this end so if you uh, press hard or something like that or it's stuck and you want to pull it out it's very strong it's very solid it's a reliable lock I think it's one of the most reliable ever for a folding knife uh, it's very strong and is a uh, world famous for for that the trad lock hope you understand what I explained but as I said not a native speaker uh, so the ergonomic of the hand, very nice. I have, I love this groove. It's, it's very sit secure in the hands. It's very ergonomic. It's very nice to use. I use it a lot, and it's very important. The handle is a, a bit longer from the blade, which also, some people like it, some people don't. It gives you a lot of control if you're cutting something hard. So let's cut some stuff, okay? Uh, this stuff is like a seat belt material okay uh, okay no problem see I'm not using a lot of strength because I don't want it to cut my face or the camera okay a bit of oh it's gonna make a lot of dirt here so I'm gonna stop next thing this is tough stuff, doesn't look like one, but I have a lot of power in my hands and it's difficult to tear it up. So let's use the knife, it's something, you see, very easy. It's something you use in, uh, in the gun industry, they make holsters with it. Here in Israel there is a company, so I took the, the materials, it cuts, no problem. This is something tougher, see? something used to or hard use gun holster uh, also cuts see no problem yeah my dog went inside and he thinks it has sent him something to it you see it's no problem and a leather something like five millimeters thick no problem there see so what does that teach us teach us that this knife have uh, the cpm 3v uh, can get a very fine edge <laughs> i sharpened it uh, on a 320 belt and then buffed it uh, and the, the blade geometry is uh, very good okay I know five millimeter is thick but it cuts very well it also cuts very good into wood I tested it trust me 
Uh, now, advantages. Ad advantages versus disadvantages. Advantages, well, it's a multi-use knife. It's not a tactical, but it can easily be used by soldiers or anywhere for almost any work you want. From food prep, yes, I made food for a moment. It's not ideal, but if you take this one knife, only this it can take out a lot and it's very versatile and it's it's so simple in in design that it's genius okay it's a simple design plain no tricks but it's very 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 useful okay so i think the charm or the greatest advantages in in, in those knives that they are meant uh, the maker put a lot of effort on uh, usability okay it's not fancy as other custom knives on the $1200 range okay but you can use it to do almost any task almost any task there are some specialty knives for, for but you know what I'm talking about if you take this one is EDC uh, I don't think that there is something that there is a problem with it it's very good so its biggest advantage it's its versatility the materials the, f the fit and finish uh, as you can see it's uh, I'm gonna try to close up it's very well made everything is in spot It's really a, one of those products in the knife world that you actually not get something only that is design or uh, chicy, but functionality. Uh, so this is one advantage. The other advantage is uh, that you have still you have uh, uh, how how would I say uh, address for responsibility. Okay, if something happens. And you should not uh, take this by lightly. Uh, the disadvantage of this knife, it is, it's vent, it is advantage. It's size. It's not a gentleman knife. Okay, it's not something light. It weighs around the 200, 250 grams. It's not something that just sit idle in the pocket. Um, uh, you should have, you know, if you work in a physical job or something like that or you have big pockets it's okay but if you're working with suit or something like that no it's a big knife it has its own weight uh, the pocket clip does put a lot of pressure on the pockets and uh, wear off the the cloth so you have a hole finally uh, eventually so you should uh, take it uh, under consideration also uh, it's not cheap and it's also disadvantage you can uh, get uh, if you want a knife uh, and you put emphasis on uh, safety while working and I'm talking about only the locking mechanism because if you want to be extra safe you can put a guard here but uh, it will be too much um, so uh, you can use like cold seal American lawman okay or anything else with rod lock and similar blade uh, or other blade depends I mean there are cheaper options for whoever wants them so the price is also a disadvantage so uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of disadvantages and advantages advantages that other people can find but I try to be as more as general and uh, not uh, talking about uh, you know stuff that uh, fits only to a small group of person uh, for my opinion this is a very good knife I've used it, I'm gonna use it, I bought it uh, as new to use it uh, and uh, that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, short review, short, not so short review and uh, until next one. So bye bye.